Hey guys, it's hoodie season. I love this hoodie, I just got it. This color is called Purple Haze and it's by this company called Colorful Standard and I'm not sponsored by them or anything but I love their stuff and I love um, their hoodies and their t-shirts and I wear a lot of their stuff in my videos. Anyways, really happy that it's fall and hoodie season and yeah, it's like late afternoon early evening and as you can see it's raining here in uh, or just outside of Boston so yeah it's like dark outside and it's not even that late and it's raining and it's actually been thundering and lightning um, all day and you know what that means my dogs are super scared and hiding <laughs> let me see if I can go find them curled up right now Busy's curled up here on the sofa, and uh, so is Dexter, actually. Not sure what he's doing right now, but uh, yeah, this is where they've been hiding out all day um, during the thunder and lightning storm. So I have some houseplant chores to take care of, including cleaning some terracotta pots. I'm gonna show you guys how uh, I clean my terracotta pots at the end of the season, especially when they've been outdoors. And I actually picked up three new plants. I'm super excited to share what it is that I picked up with you guys. So let me show you what it is I need to accomplish uh, today with all of these houseplant chores that I need to take care of. So guys, this is one um, of a pair of terracotta pots um, that I was actually keeping my uh, tropical hibiscus in um, outside on our deck um, throughout the summer. And um, I switched the hibiscus out into different pots when I was uh, winterizing them. But as you can see, these things are disgustingly dirty and in all honesty, I think the moss or whatever this green stuff is, this algae or whatever, looks kind of cool um, on these pots, but because I want to use them um, and their little saucers for uh, some new plants that I just picked up, I need to clean them. So I'll be doing that in this video and showing you uh, a really easy way to get your terracotta pots kind of back looking their best kind of, you know, how you get them when they first come without any of this crustiness on them. And here are the plants that I picked up. So I only got three, which means I had some self-control, but um, super excited. Um, so I'm not sure if you recognize uh, any of these. This is a Cebu Blue, which I'm really excited to have and I'm probably gonna do a whole separate video on this plant. This is a Begonia, and I think this one's called like Autumn Ember, and it's like really deep uh, oranges and reds, and super happy to have that and add that to my Begonia collection. And then this beautiful uh, Monstera, Peru, totally in love with this plant. Um, I can't wait. So um, there, as you can see in their nursery pots, and I gotta pop these up. I definitely wanna put this guy and this one in uh, this pot, and I'm not sure if you can actually see, but uh, I already have one um, soaking, so let me just kinda get over here. So it's really easy. If you use, I've used this white vinegar and I put um, two cups of the white vinegar with some warm water um, and just filled up this, um, you know, stainless steel bowl and have had this um, soaking in it. So I need to go get a, um, like a little scour sponge thing and start uh, basically giving this guy a little bit of a scrub down and then I can get started on that one there. So yeah, let me go grab a sponge and uh, I'll show you if this is working and how easily all that grime and algae comes off. So like I said, I have about two cups of white vinegar uh, with some warm water and this pot's only been um, 
soaking in there for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to use this scour pad. And as you can see, um, I've already kind of just tested it and it seems to be just melting away. So um, let me just show you how easily um, all of this is coming off. So that's awesome. And obviously um, it's just good to know that the more, the higher the vinegar um, content, the less amount of time you need to soak. So if you only, for example, use like a cup of vinegar, maybe you'd let it soak for about 20 minutes instead of 10. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down uh, or see if I can angle it in an interesting way. Uh, but basically just scrub these guys clean and then uh, let them sit out and dry and then I'll let the other ones soak uh, and then share some other of my houseplant chores with you guys. All right guys, so good news. This terracotta pot came out spick and span. I didn't even need to use, um, you know, that much energy or force, elbow grease to get this clean. It was basically just wiped right away. Bad news, vinegar smells so disgusting and look how nasty the water is. So yikes. Um, so yeah, let me just show you. That's looking pretty good uh, compared to what this is looking like. And like, see how that's, I'm scratching that, it's not even going anywhere. So like, it really does work. And yeah, that really works. All right, so let's get this guy. Wee! Ooh. Let's get this one in the, oh, sick. <laughs> All right, let's let that soak in the vinegar mi mixture. I'm not gonna redo a new one. I feel like it's only the two pots. Um, vinegar smells so gross. All right, uh, moving along. So pots figured out. Let's move on to, sorry guys, it's so dark. It's just so dark. But uh, yeah, let's move on to these plants. Um, I'm gonna give you a closer look. I created a little bit of a potting mix and have, um, some bamboo stakes ready to go. So let me set up the camera. Wee! So you can uh, get a better look at these new plants that I got. All right guys, so I'm gonna use this first pot, this nice freshly cleaned terracotta pot. Um, also with its little base there. Um, to pot up this Cebu Blue, which I'm totally in love with. So right now there's like a steak some sort of like little green stake in it and I think I'm going to upgrade it to uh, a two foot bamboo stake. Um, yeah, so um, I'm not sure if you have one of these, but before I do this, like, is there any of you that live on like the East Coast in the Boston area or in New England? And I don't know if it's just me, but it gets so dark so early here um, in the fall and winter. Like I find it super depressing sometimes and I am somebody who needs light and sun and I want as much light and sun for my plants obviously as well. But ugh, sometimes it just gets me down on days like today where it's just honestly like what the fuck. It's too dark and um, yeah, I guess I'll have to bleep that out. But um, yeah, I wish it was more light. Maybe I need to move to uh, California. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, I did uh, go ahead and mix up um, a little bit of a soil mix. The other problem I'm having right now is it's so hard everywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Ace Hardware, all of these stores that should sell stuff uh, for soil mix, like bark is, it, they're all sold out. I can't find bark anywhere. And so in this mix, I have a little bit of bark that I've stolen um, from other plants that probably didn't need that much bark, but I've gone ahead and put in um, some coco coir, um, peat moss, a lot of uh, perlite and a little bit of vermiculite. There is also some horticultural charcoal. I'm just trying to make it lighter and airier uh, to make up for the fact that there isn't as much bark in here as I would like, but they don't need to live in this soil mix forever. As soon as I find uh, more bark, <laughs> maybe I will add some to these plants. But yeah, I'm gonna pot up this cute little guy uh, in here. So let me just add some soil. I feel like it's like, it shouldn't be so much to ask for in life to have some light. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I'm being dramatic or if it's just me or if you guys feel the same way, but 
Uh, I honestly, yeah, I just want more light. There's nice, healthy roots on this, so that's awesome. Um, let's see if I can squeeze this out of here. It's kind of like roots coming through these small holes. Could be tricky. Hold on, I'm just gonna quickly grab scissors because I'm just gonna cut it out of that. It's kind of stuck. Be right back. All right, let's cut this guy out. Carefully, because I don't want to do any damage to the roots, obviously, but I don't think I was gonna be able to pull. sure how much of this you can see but um, getting there oh. surgery all right that should do So it's definitely time to pot this one up to the next pot size. Roots are healthy and doing great, so much so that I had to cut off the nursery pot. So I don't know if you can see that well. So yeah, lots of nice healthy roots. All right, so right now I can either use these clips or I have some of this twist tie stuff. This stuff's great, I think I'm gonna use this. Um, you just take, busy, settle down. You just take, um, the portion that you need and then you can just use this little doodad to cut it right off. Um, so let's see if I can... These would also be awesome in a hanging basket, but I just... Oh, there's a twist tie. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Actually, it looks exactly like the same thing I'm going to be using. But uh, yeah, so let me just get this kind of connected. A moss pole would be awesome for this, but uh, I'm gonna let it live in this pot first because the size of pot I would need for a moss pole would be a little bit bigger and the, I just don't think the plant's ready for that yet. Cool. All right, I mean that's, be oh no, there's another, there's a whole other thing right here, so let me just get another piece. All right, there we go. Cool. Awesome, yeah, this is looking pretty nice. All right, so one down, uh, one to go. So that's looking pretty cool. Actually, this is a little bit wobbly. Just like add a little bit more of the soil mix in there and just kind of push it down. I mean, the whole reason to use the bark and the perlite and stuff is because you don't want the soil to compact um, too much around the roots. But at the same time, I need to do that a little bit around um, the bamboo stake just so it kind of settles in. And once I water that, that will help too. Um, I'm just kind of tuck these aerial roots in. All right, guys. Here, I'll show you what I... So it's looking... Oh my God, it's so dark. But... Can you see the aerial roots here and then the other one here? Um, so that's looking great. Um, let's go see if the other pot is ready to be, all that grime is ready to be scratched away. It smells so bad. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's, vinegar really works, it's crazy. All right, so I'm going to finish cleaning that off and I'll be right back and then I'm gonna pot up the Monstera Peru. All right, this is the second pot and this probably could have soaked for a little bit longer because I feel like it's not quite as um, cleaned up as the first one. Um, so it didn't soak for, you know, maybe at most 10 minutes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I actually rinsed it, rinsed this one and the other one after because the vinegar was making me gag. And it's just probably better for um, soil composition and get rid of any excess vinegar kind of stuff. Anyways, so guys, how much, oh my God, the whole thing's gonna tip over. There we go. How beautiful is this plant? Like, oh my God. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'm like really in love with this. Uh, do you have one of these guys? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, so I'm using the same um, soil mix, same pot, same business. Um, I'm also going to get rid of the this like green, the twist tie that they've used. And um, here, let me show you. I'm getting rid of this and I'm going to use another bamboo stake. Um, this plant is awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a little that mix in there. Oh, I forgot how bad vinegar smells. Ugh. All right, this one I don't need to cut open or anything. What the? Interesting, so I'm actually like noticing, I don't know if you can see that. There's like some white kind of like mold or something on it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna quickly just grab something and show you what I do when I have like a white mold situation. All right, so I have this product, um, Fungicide 3 from Garden Safe. Um, I use a couple of their products also, not sponsored or anything. Um, but basically, I'm pretty sure the active ingredient is in neem oil. Um, so if you have something like this or any neem oil, um, you can just use it to spray um, any of the white mold. I'm also just gonna hit it up. Um, I've already treated the leaves on the top portion of the plant, but um, there's just some a weird, funny business going on at the bottom of this one. So I'm just gonna also like just hit this up with some um, botanical insecticide. Um, you know, taking care of business. I don't really see anything, but better safe than sorry. All right, so that goes in. This goes up. Maybe I'll use two bamboo stakes on this one, one on either side. So let's see if I can just get those kind of in. Let's get a second one in on the other side. Um, get rid of this old thing here. So kind of something like this. Um, and now that's gonna fall over. <laughs> and I'm just going to um, Add some of the soil mix and then attach um, the Monstera uh, Peru to these stakes. So I only have two hands. Um, I'm just gonna turn the camera off for two seconds just to get this organized. Be right back. All right, I'm such an idiot. So I just realized that I can use these clips to hold it up while I measure out and get my um, little twist tie things to attach the plant and yeah let me just get a couple of those going all right there we go you get the idea guys i can't actually finish potting this one up i have to go pick um my husband jeff up um from the train station so this guy is not getting done today but uh, should be able to take care of that pretty soon. Um, yeah, so sadly this guy is not getting potted up today. That's all nicely taken care of and as per usual, I've made a huge mess. That being said, I actually always use or mix up the right amount of soil. Like I use all the soil, but then I guess I get it everywhere. But anyways, um, <laughs> Happy with uh, these, how these are looking. Um, yeah, I think this kind of needs to be stabilized a little bit better. They're kind of veering apart. Um, but what do you guys think? Um, love the foliage on this one. And this one looks pretty happy too. So really happy to add these two new plants to the collection. And uh, yeah, miss you guys so much. Leave a comment down below and talk to you soon. See you soon.